Right, I'm ready to start spraying these doors. I've given them a good sand. On the hinge side, I've put a small round on just to help ease the opening edge of the door. These are doors of about 21mm, which is about the maximum for these hinges. I've moved the filter up closer to the guns so that if there's any collection in the pipe, I don't get any fish eyes on this. <laughs> we'll see, because I still don't know where that comes from. The spray gun's nice and clean. I've just sprayed that end board. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to spray the face, primer, fill any holes again if it shows, give it another coat of primer, when that's dry flip it over, do primer on the other side, on the back side, and while it's that way up, once the primer's on, a couple of coats of primer, I'll put the grey on, and then finally flip it back up on to its back, so it faces up, put the grey on, so when it's sat on the rack it can dry properly and if there's any damage at least that'll be on the back just spraying so I'm not going to show you a lot of it I'm about to start spraying the grey on these doors. So far I've been using this gun which is the Deva Bliss FLG5. It's about £100-ish. But I have some other guns. Cheap and nasty. 1.2mm nozzle I think. See I just use it for stains and things. Stains are quite thin so you don't need a big nozzle for that. That one, I think that's the one I started with. I think that's a 1.4. It's okay. Hardly ever use it anymore, really, now. These two are cheap guns, but they're pretty good for what they are. The A and I. So on there, A and I. 1.4, 1.8. The Deva Bliss is a 1.8. And this one, it's an A and I. It's a bit more expensive than those two. This is massive 2.5. I just use that for 
house paints, quite thick paints. But these are £24, something stupid like that. But I'll just show you, I'm not going to spray some paint because I like my Dover Bliss and I'll show you why. But you can quite easily get away with these. I'll put a bit of solvent in this and just show you the spray pattern. You see why I like the Dover Bliss, but you don't have to spend a lot of money. I've turned the pressure down to about 20. I had it up closer to 30. I don't know why it was that high, but for the A&Is they seem to prefer the lower pressure. This is the A&I 1.8. Sprays okay. And this is the Deva Bliss. See the size of that spray pattern. Finer edges, so you can feather it in. But you can see why I like this one. Right, that's it. All the painting's done. Handles turned out alright. See what they look like when they're on. But not a single fish eye this time. This pipe used to have the filter back here, but it didn't always have a filter on it, you know, so oil from the compressor's been coming through. And that must have been it since moving it up here that's it that's solved the problem so that was the fault <laughs> i presume like i said no more fish eyes this got sprayed yesterday so it's getting 24 hours just to cook properly today i'm cutting some packers i have i have bags bags for life I've had many boxes over the years, but in here I've got different size packers, hardboard, that's about 3mm, 6mm ply, half inch, this is 9mm, and 18 I don't buy 15 it's not easy to get hold of. But in here, I have all these little plastic packers, I buy boxes, bags like this. They go in there. And I'll fill this up. I put a fine tooth blade in the machines. You get nice clean cuts. And I'll cut these boards 
to about this sort of size. Don't have to be exact. Sometimes it's nice to have one that's shorter than the other. Bits of rubbish in here. I'll rip them down, chop them to length, and they'll go in there. And then I need to decide which of these tools live in the van. mix up bags for life easier to store in the van boxes I've had loads but they tend up like this one they just end up falling to bits these brackets go from a millimeter three mil four mil five mil up to I think these are six Right, it's 11 o'clock at night, tomorrow, that's Thursday and Friday, I'll get these fitted. When I stack these in the van I'll put blankets between them, because I'll lower the, this paint dries to sand in half an hour, an hour, depending on temperature. It'll still stick together if you don't let it cure, so it's had plenty of time to dry, it's a nice warm night. I should have this done by the weekend. I should have it done tomorrow and Friday, but hopefully I don't have to go back Saturday. Temperature's warmed up a bit. It is. A cracking 15 degrees. What does this one say? That's it. 63. Wow. That's 17, 18 degrees. Anyway, most of the tools are in run. Look how old that is. Got that when I started. Anyway, this weekend I'll bring you the final instalment if everything goes to plan.